It seems like quite some time since I was last in KLIA, that's the Kuala Lumpur International Airport. I think my last international flight was in, let me see, that's uh, February, just before the COVID hit the world, and that was to Jaipur, India. And then, since March of 2020, we have seen uh, quite a number of lockdowns and forced lockdowns. And in between, I did manage to do a few domestic flights, uh, domestic travel, but that's just about it. Hey you, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been a little bit quiet on YouTube recently, and that's because I'm embarking on this summer journey. It's um, relatively quite a long trip for me. I'm going to be away from home for six weeks and I'm flying Qatar Airways, our preferred airline. And that's because, honestly, I don't think I enjoy air travel so much anymore. I'm not all excited over it. And I prefer to break my journey into two sectors. So here we are in Doha Airport on transit. Okay, I've got to look at the information board here to look up my boarding gate for my final destination, QR183, and I'm heading to Vienna. I must say that Vienna is not actually, or rather was not actually a city that we have often spoken about going to, but it cropped up recently in our travel planning because it's kind of a good location for us to use as a springboard to go to other places in Central Europe like Slovenia and Slovakia. I have landed, here we are, in Vienna International Airport. The passport control was very efficient, I'm very pleased with it. It's very quick, no questions asked whatsoever. And it's time for me to pick up my suitcase from the luggage carousel. I only checked in one piece of suitcase on this particular journey and very unusual for me, I even managed to keep it under 20 kilos. That's quite an achievement itself considering that I'm so used to travelling heavy. Stepping out into the arrival hall, I'm looking out for Gobble Guzzle Jr. Now where is he? That nampak pun? Junior was supposed to arrive in Vienna yesterday. He left London yesterday on a KLM flight, but unfortunately, because of delay on the London side, he missed his connecting in Amsterdam and he only just arrived in Vienna this morning. Hang on, I think I spotted him. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's almost a year since I've last seen Junior. And uh, he's a little bit camera shy, let me tell you this from the start. There's no dramatic reunion to be captured on camera. I'm so totally knackered after the long flight. It's been a total of, uh, I think, 17 plus hour of a journey. So the top priority right now is to get me to our Airbnb, which is located in District 2, just a little outside of the city centre. And one thing good about Austria, in particular the capital city of Vienna, is that it has a very efficient public transportation service. You can get the tickets from any of the automated vending machine that you see in the train station and our destination is Trison Gas. With his delay from London and all that, it has been such a long journey for Gobble Guzzle Jr. He just managed to check into our Airbnb one day late and then rushing back to the airport to collect me. So I guess it's not surprising that he's feeling a little bit packish right now. I'm more tired than I am hungry actually. 
but nevertheless, I'll accompany him to this bakery in the train station to grab some pastries and maybe one or two drinks to bring back to our Airbnb. Anka is a chain of bakeries that you find everywhere in Austria, especially in Vienna. And it all started in the 10th district of Vienna. And the original building it was actually a bread factory called Anka Brot Fabric. It is still there, but it no longer churns out breads. Instead, the building, the original building, was conserved and it is now a center for contemporary art. Interesting historical trivia from the United Nations archives. Well, once upon a time, Anker Flour Mill and Bakery was among the largest in Central Europe and it employed over 2,000 workers and Anker also supplied 30% of the total amount of bread consumed in Vienna. That was the good old days when the flour mill was baked by Anker themselves and distributed in Vienna daily and because of the shortage, the acute shortage of motor trucks then, the distribution was done mainly by horse-drawn vans. Can you imagine that? Finally settled in in our Airbnb. I think I need a little siesta, a quick 40 wings, getting a short rest. I'm so tired. And then we'll explore Vienna later on. So stay tuned for more travel vlogs and fully vlogs from yours truly. And signing off for now, I'll talk to you again real soon. And the next vlog will definitely be a Makan session. Oh, by the way, this is our Airbnb housemate. His name is Mikey. And it looks as if that he really enjoys his food just like us. This is Gobble Guzzle signing off for now. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.